and welcome back to my channel. And as you guys know, it's a new week, which means a new episode of our favorite <laughs> episodes of reading so far. Sorry I didn't post on Friday. I was kind of just tired from work and things. But I think this Friday I'll just post two episodes to make up for that one episode I didn't post. But anyway, guys, we are back with a more loco. And as you guys remember in the last episode, our man... Our father, Mr. John Reed, who is the best lawyer in New York City, of course we know from Shielded Hearts, is um has gone to Madrid to talk to um oh gosh, his name is blanking on me. Who is now talking to Why can't I remember his name? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Talk to our man. I can't remember his name for some reason right now. Is now talking to her man about how to help him get out of jail. So he went there and he's like, you know, tell me everything. Um, I don't need any surprises. I don't need any secrets because we're going to do the best to get you out of here. Because if you guys don't remember in the episode before that, his father <coughs> got him sent back to Madrid and put in jail. But our girl, Miss Alexis, also followed him there. To see him, of course, because why would we not go to Madrid to see our man like the and also Nick overheard our girl Miss Ellie getting her thing on with Miss Camilla. So, you know, there's that too. <laughs> there's that too. So we are going to see how that goes with those three with that little love triangle. But anyway guys, let's just jump right into this and see what is happening. My father will get you out of here. We will fix everything. Everything will be okay, I promise. Come here. Ricardo. I don't know why I cannot remember Ricardo's name. Ricardo is his name. Ricardo? See, I love you too. Oh, yeah, and he said, I love you <coughs> when he realized it was Alexis and they were trapped in the closet. Who's there? Ricardo, what are we going to do? My dad doesn't know that I'm here. Hide. I'll go out and give you a signal when the ghost is clear. Oh, hello. What? What were you doing in there, inmate? You were supposed to be in your cell half an hour ago. I need some privacy. Oh, you need privacy. Well, all right, let's hear your excuse to, as why. I needed to handle something. What are you talking about? You know, something. <coughs> are you fucking kidding me? Hey, I just said something. What do you think I meant exactly? Oh my god. Move your ass in, mate. Yes, sir. But could you please not touch me? Who knows where those mats have been? Move it! What the actual... Hurry up and get out. Yeah. Yeah. Get out, girl. For our father catches. I know that we went to the prison too. He's <laughs> looking for the prison. Oh, uh, we love Alexis. She'll do anything for Ricardo at this point. That's just crazy because since the fact that they've only really known each other for like a month. I'm right. Mr. John Reed. Of course he would get there before us. Where were you, Alexis? Shopping? You've never been a good liar. Prove me wrong. What did you buy? Girl, you should have thought this lie through. My good looks. Alexis, daddy, relax. I don't want you to pop a vein. Living with Nick changed her. Do I ask? Why don't we just drop it? I'll never get the truth out anyways. Fine. Get ready for bed. We have a long day tomorrow. Yes, sir. Girl, that's it. Don't ask. I raised a monster. You raised two monsters. Because your son is also a monster. <laughs> Back in New York. In New York. Concrete jungle. Something. I'm not trying to get it copyrighted. <coughs> Aren't you going to answer that? No. It sounds pretty important. Trust me. It's not. Ooh. I really think you should answer that. Hard right, pass. Who pissed into your cereal this morning? No one. Okay. 
Right, because why are you looking like that? It must be Ellie and he don't want to answer the phone. I'll be right back. I wonder what's up with him. Who knows? Aww. Are you hungry? Is that even a question? Come on, I'm taking you out. <laughs> so cute. At least we have one functional couple who gets to be happy. Hello. Took you long enough. What do you want, Ellie? Okay, not the hello I was expecting. Is everything okay? You sound upset. I'm not mad. Disappointed is more like it. But hey, it's cool. I'm used to it. What are you talking about, Nick? What happened? Are you really that shallow, Amelia? You really don't know? I'd say I'm surprised, but I don't want to be a liar like you. Liar? What? Nick, if you don't want to be with me anymore, fine. But don't pull all the blame on me for no reason. <coughs> Either tell me what's going on or knock it off. Tell me, Ellie. Ooh, ooh, did you enjoy making out with whoever it was? You sounded, you sounded like it was, it's not like you had anything to hold you back, right? Ooh, a slap in the face. Yeah, ho. No more slapping you right back in your face. No more slapping you right back in your face, Miss Ellie. Nick, please let me explain. No, it's fine, Amelia. Trust me when I say I've heard enough. Like I said, I'm not mad, just disappointed. I don't know what I was to you, but we never shared, but whatever we shared, I never had before. Something I loved, you know? For someone who was so scared this man whore would play her, you've got some fucking nerve. Next time you want to play with someone's feelings, leave me out of it. I hope it was worth it. Dang. Dang, Ellie. <laughs> Dang, Ellie, girl. What happened to you? Fuck. Damn it. Why am I so fucking stupid? Stop screaming and tell me what's wrong. Maybe I can help. Take me to New York. Well, how about no? So I think it was like, girl, we ain't going to no New York. Oh, okay, maybe they are. Easy there, Tiny Ramirez. Did you forget your brother's in jail for leaving Spain's borders? That's not the only reason. Emilia, um, you're not going anywhere. Hopefully Ricardo will be out soon. Now, tell me what happened. Maybe I can help. I was stupid. I know I always say that, but I love that outfit Ellie has on. The next day. Sorry, my throat's doing weird stuff. I'm sorry, I'm coughing a lot. So, are we back in Madrid? It looks like we're still in Madrid. After my dad left our room to take case, to take care of Ricardo's case, I decided to explore the city a little bit. Who knows if I'll ever have the opportunity to be in Madrid again. I could really use a new wardrobe anyways. Sorry, Ricky. I'm so using the money you sent me. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we still have Ricardo's money. Because we just flew with our dad instead of um buying our plane ticket. Even though we did have a plane ticket. Girl, I love your shirt. Thank you. Are you from here? Um, No, but I do speak Spanish. Hola. You're adorable. I have to go, but it was very nice to meet a pretty stranger. Camilla. Is everyone here always that nice? Camilla, she's the reason why your heart, your heart, your brother, <laughs> she's the reason your brother's heart is broken. Ooh. What did I do now? You haven't told me how you feel about my new hat. It's all right, I guess. Just all right. It makes your head bigger. Are you saying that I'm fat? Why are women so complicated? You better buy me so many cookies I want to, so as I want, or you can kiss your sex life goodbye. Dang. Dang, sis. That dress in the back is cute. Hola, tourist. Is that obvious? Are you an American? <laughs> yeah, I am. In, in, in a choir? Come here. Babe, I found an American. That's cool. What brings you to Madrid? It's a long story, but I'm here helping a friend. We should hang out. Terry, you're scaring her. No, it's fine. You two seem nice enough. I don't see why not. It's not like I have anything better to do. I can show you downtown if you like. I'm just going to text my friend Santigo to join us if you don't mind. You can't go through a day without him, huh? It's fine. The more the merrier, right? Terry, his best friend's in jail. Give him a break. Plus, she's cool with it, so what's the big deal? Whatever. Let's go. Are you okay? 
shit, my bad. I know how that must sound. But rest assured, we aren't criminals or whatever. We just have a friend who was framed. Oh, no, I wasn't thinking about that. I'm just unsure about hanging out with so many strangers. Plus, my friend is also in jail, so it would be hypocritical of me to judge yours. That's understandable. Wait, what? What's the name of your friend? It's none of our business, Tear. Let's just go. Santigo is waiting. Girl, let him know so we could all be in the same, you know, hello. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm joking. Where's Terry? Right here, we met a tourist and Terry wanted to show her around. So where to? I can use something to eat. Same. Do you have KFC around here? You're in Madrid, girl. You are in Madrid. Taco Bell then? Alexis, what are you doing here? You guys know each other? No. Who are you and how do you know my name? I saw you at the hospital when I visit Ricardo in New York. Don't steal her. I found her first. How do you find these fools anyway? I wanted to explore the city a little. They offered to show me around. You're so naive, just like Ricardo said. What if they were kidnappers or murderers? They look harmless. See? Anyways, you're Ricardo's friend then? I am. Best friend is more like it. And you said he's talked about me? He would shut up about you. Let me take you out to eat. We could talk more. Hey, what about us? We want to come with. Sorry, guys. Maybe next time. This is an important situation. I don't mind. They're nice. Just just trust me on this one. We can see them later if you have time. All right. <laughs> I like how Terry's like, we found her first. This is our friend. What is this place? It's a diner in the outskirts of Madrid. You can find all types of food in this place. I figured you want to eat something more similar to American food. That's very considerate of you. Thank you. Welcome. My name is Angela. How may I? Santico. Hey, Ange. I didn't think you were working today. How you been? I'm great. Who's your friend? This is Alexis. She's Ricardo's girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. Yeah, but you want to be. So what's the difference? He got us there. He got us there. Well, Alexis, it's nice to meet you. What can I get you guys? Well, Ricardo said I have to try eating pala one day, so I'd like that dish, please. And I'll have the tortilla de pata, please. Coming right up. My voice is sounding weird. I know it. <laughs> you like her. No, I don't. I'm just looking out for her. You smell that? Smell what? All that bullshit. Rick was right when he said you were a handful but it means that much to you. Her boyfriend is a piece of shit. I'm just worried about her. Who are you trying to convince, me or yourself? Ricardo taught me Ricardo taught me that you fight for the people you love and the people who mean everything to you. Ricardo is a sucker for cliches. Anyway, can we get back on topic now? What topic? You and Ricardo. Man, I didn't know what you did to my friend, but please don't stop. Even Sophia didn't make him act the way he does when he's talking his feelings. Like what? Like a simp? But I mean it. He cares about you. I care about him, too. That's why my father and I are here. Your father? My dad is a lawyer. A really good one, too. Well, all we can do is now is hope for the best. Oh, Lord. Oh, Daddy. Okay, cool. What do you mean he got himself a lawyer? I thought we agreed I was the one who was supposed to get him out. I need him to trust me, idiot. That's never going to happen. Whatever. Thanks for the update. I'll take care of this mess. You let me know as soon as possible the date of the trial so I can make sure it gets messy. You're the chief of police. You're supposed to know these things. Call me when you have the information I need. Girl, fucking useless. How the freak is he corrupting the chief of police? Later. Hello, Tiny Ramirez. Alexis! Hi, Al. No long time no see. You're okay. Why well, wouldn't I be? Maybe because you were hit by a car? Girl, that is so last week. You're crazy. Where are you staying? With my dad in a hotel down the road. Yeah, not anymore. You can stay here with me. My dad won't allow that. He's a paranoid parent, especially since my accident. Let me talk to him. I don't know. Give me your phone. <laughs> Ellie's like, I got this. Give me your phone. This is Rick's room. You can crash here while you're staying in Madrid. Have you talked to your father yet? I text him. Call him. Call him. Tell him I'm Ricardo's sister. 
I don't think that'll make a difference, but I will. I left you some clothes on Ricardo's bed. Change it to something comfy and feel free to nap. Thank you, Ellie. No, Alexis, thank you for helping my brother. Anything for him. Well, shout if you need me. My room is right next my room is right next to you as well. If you need anything. Oh, we're staying in our man's room. Is that an air fryer in the back? What is that? It might be a speaker and it just looks like an air fryer, but <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually in Ricardo's room. Let's look around a bit. Girl, we being nosy in this man's stuff. He gonna catch us. I mean, he's not because he's in jail, but still. His closet is bigger than my whole room. What the? Everything here smells like him. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna take one of his shirts. Take one of his shirts, girl. Let's see what we have to work with. Ugh, so cute. Ugh, it smells like him. We got his shirt on. We over there in his bed. We just miss our man. We just miss our man. A few hours later, Alexis says, what? Why would I let my daughter stay at a stranger's house while we're in a foreign country? I don't know you. <laughs> I love him. Ellie Ramirez, your sister's on the phone. <laughs> Ricardo was like, yeah, sorry about that. Home sweet home. Now listen to me. I pushed a lot of buttons to get you on house arrest until the trial. So don't you dare leave this house. Thank you. And of course, Mr. Reed, you have my word. Thank me once this trial is over. But for now, do us both a favor and take a shower. You reek. Yes, sir. But before that, help me find my daughter. She's not staying here. Damn it. Of course. She's probably in Melina's room. I'll go get her. Thank you. She's sleeping. So wake her up. With all due respect, sir, she looks exhausted. She's safe here, I promise. I will never let anything happen to her. 8 a.m. What? Tell her to be at the hotel tomorrow morning at 8. And I better get a call every two hours when I'm coming back here. <laughs> I love him. Oh, I love him. Where is she? Thank God he fell for that. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. She really is asleep. She's in my bed. <sighs> I hope you took a shower, sir. Let me get in this bed and you stank. <coughs> Don't be getting in this bed and you stank. Chubby cheeks. Snores. Alexis. Oop. Ricardo, what are you? What are you? Shh. I missed you so much. Well, how are you back? The trial is next week. How did my father manage to get you on house arrest? So you want me to stay in prison then? No, dummy. So what do you want, Alexis? Stop being cocky. You know what I want. I want to hear you say it. My voice is doing things. Your heart is beating fast for me. No, it's not. It's okay. You don't have to be nervous. I promise I won't do anything more than kiss you. May I? Kiss me already. I delicately kissed the corner of his jawline, being soft enough that I barely touched him. Being in slight control made me feel things I never felt before. I had to urge to kiss this man everywhere, to claim him as mine as, and I as his. I wanted to touch and explore every inch of his face. Come here, beautiful. Oh. Look at them happy together again, even though our man is on, ouch, even though our man is on house arrest. Oop. And that is all that we have for today. We've already checked out Shielded Hearts. We're waiting for the update on Shielded Hearts, y'all. I cannot wait for Shielded Hearts to update because y'all know that that story is also good and that the story is also by our girl, Miss Aura. 
But y'all, that is all that I have for you today. I am so sorry my voice is doing weird things throughout this entire video. I don't know what's happening to me. I think I'm going through puberty again. <laughs> but I don't know. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys already know. Mystery of Hanging Healing will probably be tomorrow. And so will probably be right after. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.